Thank you, Sarah. Three minutes after nine. Clearwater is hoping to move forward with plans to transform downtown. This is what it looks like right now, but check this out. This is what it could look like once it's finished. But the city wants to make changes to this design. Uh, our Jasmine Stiles joins us live now from the proposed site on Drew Street. Jasmine, what's the holdup here? So the big holdup is this space that they want to build on right here in this parking lot. That'll be called the green. Just to give you a reference point, it's next to Coachman Park and it anchors the whole project, but they can't decide how many seats they want the amphitheater to hold. Now let's give you a look at these early renderings that were from when it first all started around 2018. You can see there's no seats, but Duncan Webb, who was commissioned to do the study for Imagine Clearwater, planned to have between 2,500 and 3,000 seats. But after getting input from Ruth Deckard Hall and event promotion companies, that number could get bumped up to 4,000, which, according to Webb, would line the pockets of the promoters and not the city. Plus, it would cost the city more than the $55 million they plan to invest in the project. If uh, the money that's being spent, the taxpayer dollars that are being spent, are spent in an equitable way, then whatever expenditures need to happen are fine. City Council members say they have to agree on a solid number tonight because the design team can't go forward without it. That meeting starts at 6 tonight and coming up at 930, we'll tell you the other option they're weighing that could also bump up the project up to 50%. We're live in Clearwater. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.